I'm Allison at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I am here today with the lovely Harley, and we are going to do a course on how to groom the Golden Retriever. Now we want his blowout to last, right? We also want to really train this hair. We don't want it wrapping around his neck. Remember how we talked about that, how wrapping it around the neck makes the neck look shorter. We want it to go this way down the neck, making the, sh the neck look longer, the shoulder lay back looking better, right? So how do we do that? So once they need to be blown dry properly, right? So too many people think that toweling is like basically, oh, I saved a step. I don't need to blow dry my dog. Completely not true, right? They need to be blown dry properly, but this is how to make it last and help train the coat. So first of all, I don't do it with the noose on. Um, I like to make sure that I have some kind of styling product in this coat. In this case, it's some bottoms up. Then I'm gonna take my really fine tooth comb or my slicker brush or both, and I'm gonna make this coat look as perfect as possible. I'm gonna try to get this up and out of my way. Notice he's not wearing a collar, nothing's on there. I have a smaller kind of hand towel size towel, and I'm gonna put this on his head, and maybe I'm gonna use this for his little nose. Um, I'm going to put this so I don't put it behind the ears like you've probably been taught. I put it up over top of his head. Then I'm going to use one of my safety pins, my big kilt pins. My finger is here between his skin and the towel so that if I poke anything, it's my finger and not him. And I go through, hopefully, both towels and through both towels again. Little trick, if your pins are... Um, sticky, you can wipe them in conditioner. You can actually just get some static on them in your own head and they'll go through the towel a little bit easier. So then you just kind of want to flip this up because you want to check out what's happening under here. And you really want, you really have to triple check this coat, right? Really make it look perfect. So again, I'm going to have this here. Then I'm gonna pull this down because this is keeping this area, like this is my worrisome area on him. Then I have a nice big bath towel. I have it folded to the appropriate length for him. Boom, put it on the same way, up and over the ears, right? So then once we have that again, we have to check what's going on under here. We can't just flip that towel down all willy nilly. Like we don't, we know what's going on because we haven't seen it, right? So again, Wetting this part down again, making it look perfect. And again, you're pulling it nice and tight. You're parting the furnishings under the towel. You're making sure this is well ahead of his, his penis. Then again, finger is there. So I poke my own finger. I go through this towel and there we go. We have him all nicely toweled, right? So now we go back and we flick this down below his ears. If you start below his ears, when you tighten it up, it just goes further down his neck and then you're making a lump right where you don't want it, right where we're trying to fix it. Then you can, oh, I'm sorry that that was there. Then you can put this back around his ears. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So again, he would have been completely groomed. He would have gone outside to pee, do his business, come back in. Then we would towel him and this would stay on him until the dog show obviously could come off for him to be pottied. If we did have a dog that had a, um, needed a lot of toweling through here or the top of his tail, we could also take this towel and pin it right here as well. Um, this is why you have to really make sure that your dog's tail is completely dry because if it's not, this is where they can get a cold in their tail. So you could put another pin here as well. But this is what it looks like to towel our golden retriever um, on the way to the dog show to help train that coat. Again, not a shortcut for drying. This is to help train the coat, um, no matter what breed you might be using it on. So whether you're at home or you're getting your dog ready for a dog show, we are going to show you all the things that you need to do to keep your dog well-maintained at home, but also to get them in the ring looking absolutely fabulous. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.